Right, now we're looking at simultaneous equations and solving um, to find the values of the letters in the two simultaneous equations. So, we've got two examples here. We're going to look at this one first and we're going to do, we're going to solve these by something called elimination. Now, that's a big mathy word for get rid of one of the letters. And how we're going to get rid of one of the letters is we're going to add or subtract the equations. Now, here we're going to, we're going to get rid of y in each case. So. We've got the same amount of y's here, so we don't need to do anything in order to get the same amount of y's. And all we're going to do, because we've got plus one y here and plus one y here, is we're going to find the difference or take away one equation from the other. Now, I'm going to do the top one, take away the bottom one, because that will leave me with a positive value of x, it will leave me more than one x. So four x's, take away two x's, leaves me with two x. 1y, take away 1y, leaves me with no y's, which is excellent, so I've eliminated y straight away, and 14, take away 8, gives me 6. Now, if 2x is a 6, 1x is 3. Now, where a lot of people lose marks uh, in these questions is they find that one answer and they forget to go back and find the other answer. Simultaneous equations, if there are two letters, you want to find the value of both of them. So, if x is 3, I'm going to find out what y is. I'm going to put it into this one. It doesn't matter which one. You can. It should work equally well with both. But because I've got less x's here, I should be working with smaller numbers. So I've got 2 times 3 plus whatever y is gives me 8. So therefore, 6 plus y equals 8, which should be nice and obvious as y being 2. OK, so I've now got both answers, and that is the full solution to those simultaneous equations. Now on the second one you'll notice I, I'm going to get rid of y again but I haven't got the same amount of y in each case. So can I get the same amount of y's by multiplying through by something? I can. If I multiply this top one by 2 I'll end up with 4 y's which is what I have in here. So if I multiply that by 2 I'm going to multiply everything by 2 so I get 10x plus 4y equals 22. You'll notice I've multiplied the 5x by 2, the 2y by 2, and the 11 by 2. The other one I don't want to change. So there we go. Now, once again, I'm going to take away. You'll notice that I've got plus 4y and plus 4y, so I need to find the difference between them. 10x minus 3x gives me 7x's. 4y minus 4y gives me no y's, which is excellent. I've eliminated the y's. 22 minus 8 gives me 14, so therefore 7x's are 14, 1x is 2. Once I've got my x equals 2, I'm going to chuck it back into this one or this one, it doesn't really matter. So 3 times 2 plus 4y's equals 8, so I've got 6 plus 4y's equals 8. Now this, if I, 6 plus 2 has got to be 8, so my 4y has got to be equal to 2, so therefore y has got to be a half or 0.5, it doesn't really matter. And there we go, we have solved that simultaneous equation. Now, bear in mind nowadays they used to make it pretty much all whole numbers, but they will chuck in halves and stuff, so you can't just guess values for x and y. All right, but doing this by elimination, I'm getting rid of the y's each time, finding what x is, and then once I've found what x is, I can then go back to my original equations and find what y is. Okay, Marie, so let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own, so I would put x... 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself, but what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done. Well done.